Nate Diaz is the most recent UFC star after winning season five of The Ultimate Fighter. Junior Asunsao is a veteran who would like nothing more than to turn Nate Diaz's dream run into a nightmare. Every fight's got some pressure. Once they say go, game plan is basically whoop his ass. Gonna kick the shit out of his hands. It won't go to the judge's hand, I'll guarantee that. Like many fighters, Junior Asunsao was just another new face trying to make a name for himself in the UFC when he made his octagon debut in 2006 against Kirk Pellegrino. But when he earned his first UFC win against David Lee in April, and he Fight fans got to see the talent and drive that a sun style brought to the table. And he hopes to use that momentum tonight as he faces Nate Diaz. When I fight, I don't stop until somebody stops me. Uh, that's just how I fight. I don't give up. I'm either going to come out with my hands up, I'm going to come out unconscious. I'm going to go with how I feel, what I feel like doing when I'm in there. So, you know, let's see how good it goes for him. An ultra-talented fighter with maturity beyond his 22 years of age, Nate Diaz lived up to all expectations by winning season five of The Ultimate Fighter. Now firmly entrenched in the 155-pound mix, Diaz begins what he hopes is the road to another title. I'm trying to get me a title shot one day and in order to do that I gotta get some wins and it starts right here. I think the fight will go my way. I'm 100% confident. Third tail of the tape for this lightweight matchup. The Ultimate Fighter winner Nate Diaz just 22 years old. Four years younger than the Brazilian Junior Asuncao. Now Nate Diaz is three inches taller than Junior Sun Sal, but they have identical 72 inch reaches. Once again with our official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of six wins with two losses. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, Junior Asun Sal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of six wins with two losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California, Nathan Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Mazzagatti. Steve Mazzagatti, our referee. Diaz returns for the first time since right, capturing the Ultimate You're Fighter ready. competition. Right now, come on. He takes on Junior at Sunstown. Diaz out early. Good Thank leg you. kick. Yeah, two nice ones in a row by Junior. With Sun Sal's favorite position undoubtedly is striking. Very unorthodox with that capoeira background. Nate probably would like to take this fight to the ground. Junior Sun Sao is also a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so he is no stranger to the ground either. Double underhooks by Sun Sao. Nate Diaz is excellent on the ground. Caesar Gracie, Jiu-Jitsu disciple. Of course, a younger brother to another very talented fighter, Nick Diaz, who's also a Caesar Gracie student. And just having these two guys, you know, having... A brother like that to train with has got to be invaluable. To train with, to look up to, to understand the fight game. And they're both so similar. Both very scrappy guys, incredible endurance, great jiu-jitsu. He's got a Kimura lock in a standing position. He made his try to sweep and drop down. That's exactly what he did, but Junior's got his back. If Junior can get his arm free, he's got Nate's back. Junior is sun sound. Trying for what would be a good win here tonight against Nate Diaz because of the popularity of Diaz earned by winning the Ultimate Fighter competition. Well, he's free of the Kimura, and now he is on top. Diaz is very talented with his transitions. Right now, it's a Sun Sao who looks good, working from one position to another. Nate is really a veteran. It's going to be very difficult to get him in a bad spot for very long. Well, he submitted his way into the finals, Joe. Taking out Rob Everson, Corey Hill, and Gray Maynard. 
on his road to the lightweight finals of the Ultimate Fighter when he defeated Manny Gamburian when Manny separated his shoulder 20 seconds into the second round. Again, he goes for that Kimura. This time he's on his back in half guard. Junin manages to tuck it inside. He's a little safer there. It's not completely safe because Nate's not letting it go. If Nate can pop that arm out and get some distance, what he wants to do is get that arm away from Junior's body. Well, Joe, as you mentioned, the Sun Sao very well versed in jiu-jitsu as well. He has officially listed as a purple belt in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, a Sun Sao, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. But we've talked about it before, depending on what camp you're in, those belts may mean a little bit more or a little bit less, and that's no disrespect to anybody's camp. That's absolutely true. But when you're a great guy, you've earned up. it all. Yeah, Caesar Grace doesn't give out any easy brown belts, <laughs> or easy purple belts for that matter. Junior's rolling from the back. Very nice by Junior at Sunset. I like how he did that. He's got Nate Diaz's back, but Nate's got a hold of his leg, and he's going to use that to put Junior in, in side control, and he stands up. Great transitions. Very technical grappling here. Absolutely. Good chess match. Nate attempted to drag him down to the mat there. Joe, for those who continue to, to grow with the sport of mixed martial arts, explain, if you will, how significantly technical that last little transition was for both men. Well, it's, it's, if you look at it, it looks like they're just kind of scrambling, but it's very technical. Oh, Nate, uh -oh. Nate rocked him. That wasn't technical. That was technical. good old fashioned strategy. It's a technical guillotine, <laughs> and it's in pretty tight here. He's got that knee is separating it. That's what's keeping him alive there. It's keeping the guard out. But Nate used it to roll on top. Now Nate is trapped in Junior's half guard. He still has the guillotine position. He can still finish from this position. Especially now. And it's all over. He certainly can finish from this position. And he has done it. Very nice. And we were saying it's so tight. It, unless you understand the ground game, it's very difficult to understand what's going on. Unless you, you're aware of the position, it looks like two guys are just kind of like Sorry, just man. rolling around. But they're, they're countering and attacking and attacking and countering, and it's a constant game of physical chess. I mean, literally, it's like chess with your body. Let's take a look at it again here. Now here, he locks the guillotine, but he's got one arm in trap. Now Junior counters. Now what Junior does is he tries to separate the guard by putting his leg in between Nate's legs. What that does is it keeps Nate from closing down with his legs cl uh, closed and, uh, and, and locking a hold of that guillotine and using his legs for leverage. So what he does is he uses his leg to roll Junior over onto his back. Now here's the end of the fight. He's got that guillotine still in the same position. Now he gets that leg on the top, and he uses that leg on the top as leverage. He gets his hand clasped together, a tight guillotine, and he juniors force to tap. A winner again tonight. Here's a pro with the ball, Nathan Diaz. He's 2-0 and oh inside the octagon. Welcome back to UFC Fight Night. The Ultimate Fighter vets are battling tonight here at the Palm. Winner of the last one was Nate Diaz. Winner tonight, the same man. Bruce Buffer with the details. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes 10 seconds of the very first round. Due to a tap out from a guillotine choke, declaring the winner, Nathan Diaz! Not just Nick's little brother. A victor again, and he is inside the octagon with Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Nathan Diaz. Nathan, that was a beautiful guillotine. Now, it looked like he was defending it, but you turn, you switch it. Is this something you do all the time in the gym? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of good jiu-jitsu training partners, so we get in scrambles, and uh, like I said, I'm not afraid to be in scrambles, so it worked out good for me. Yeah, beautiful catch in the scramble. Take a look at the big screen and talk us through the action here. I'm landing some punches, I guess. There you go. Right hook, straight left. There we go. Good. Like, I work a lot of boxing. My brother, he's a fantastic boxer. I got all kinds of training partners. He's also pro boxers at home to work with. And then uh, once I got the exchange, I, I let, he landed in the guillotine. So it came out good for me tonight. I'm glad. Thanks to Junior, the tough guy. Well, it was a great fight. Another great victory. We look forward to seeing you again. Nathan Diaz, ladies and gentlemen.
Such love and respect for his older brother, Nick, but Nate quickly becoming his own man here in the Ultimate Fighting Championship.